Welcome to AstroVenture, the DSLR Astrophotography Channel. Welcome back, AstroVenturers. If you're new here, my name is George and this is the Astrophotography Channel centered around DSLR or mirrorless camera bodies combined with the lenses you own and a simple star tracker. Now today I thought I would take a moment and introduce the star tracker that I finally selected. In doing my research, there were two models I was considering. One was the Skywatcher Star Adventurer and the other for my Optron, the Skyguider Pro. Both are excellent models, okay? But in the end, this is where I ended up. Now, I love the construction of the Skyguider Pro. It's mostly metal. It does have a plastic cover here, but the construction is mostly metal. It's solid. It will support 11 pounds, which is going to carry both my heaviest and longest lens and my heaviest camera body without a problem. Additionally, there is the option of having the internally mounted iPolar camera. On the back side of the Skyguider Pro are a few ports. The first one is the HBX port. This is for an optional hand controller that you can attach to this device. There's also the micro USB charging port, and then you have a shutter release port, and then finally, you have a guiding port to improve the accuracy further on this model, which we'll be taking a look at in a future episode. Now, on the top of the model, we have a number of settings. One, moving at the speed of the sun. We have a sun tracking mode. We have a moon tracking mode to stay with the moon. We have a half speed mode. This is supposed to be splitting the difference between the Earth's rotation so that you could ideally, in theory, capture a reasonably sharp image of the stars and the foreground being the Earth. And then you have the one times mode, and that's the actual tracking speed for the stars. Uh, next to that, you have a couple arrow buttons. These buttons allow you to rotate the device to the left or to the right. And then in the center you have the button with the round black circle on it and that is to cycle through those four mentioned modes of sun, moon, half speed, and one times as well as selecting the southern hemisphere mode. And there is also for those using the iPolar, excuse me, those using the Skyguider Pro with the reticle, not the iPolar, the reticle, there is a light adjustment so that you can increase or decrease the light that shows up in that reticle. Um, one of the things that really drove me to this is that this model has a lithium ion battery that has an absolutely phenomenal life. Uh, I can shoot for a couple nights all night and I've never ran into any battery difficulty. The thing that ultimately really pushed me here though was the option of the iPolar camera that can be mounted internal to this unit. The iPolar camera, what it allows me to do is attach my computer to it and then at a far more accurate level than looking through the reticle, I am able to look at a red ball on the screen and put that over top of the red crosshairs to get a far more precise alignment with Polaris. That really was what pushed me because the unfortunately the Star Adventure, while it's a great unit, that's just not an option like it is in the Skyguider Pro. There are other workarounds, but I love the cleanness of being able to put that camera through the body. And you can also order it this way. Uh, in addition to the Star Tracker itself, it comes with the, the base, it comes with a mount to attach a ball head, but the ball head is not included 
I just have it on here already. Comes with a counterweight, the bracket for mounting both the counterweight and your camera, some assorted cables. Uh, it's a complete package. Uh, but in the end, what drove me to the SkyGuider Pro was the availability of the iPolar. I want to get as sharp of, a, of a, an alignment as I can, and I want to be able to track for as long as I can without the investment of a uh, uh, rather expensive go-to mount. So there you have it. The SkyGuider Pro with the optional iPolar, it was my tracker of choice. Consider it when you're making your purchase. Uh, do not discount the Star Adventure. It's also a great model. But these were the points that drove me to the SkyGuider Pro. So until next time, I wish you clear skies.